Do you know what it means when an approaching train slows to a stop and then dims its headlight like that? Well, I do. It means that an oncoming train is coming. Though this is what happened to me when I was down at Carteek Park this morning. The northbound passenger train met the southbound freight train. After it passed, the long, long freight train started right up again. And if it weren't for my incompetence handling my iPhone, I would have the engines. But alas, all we have today, which is quite a bit, is this very long train ending in this one pusher locomotive. So join me for a very quiet ocean side scene with two trains passing at Carkey Park near Seattle, Washington. You can see it there approaching in the distance. And now it's coming around the corner. And if you listen carefully and you have good bass speakers, you can hear the droning of the engine in the background behind the lapping waves. <laughs> Not to be outdone by the yapping dog in the parking lot. Not to mention the seagulls. And now the crows. Well, those ABS signals tell us that the northbound track is green or clear. We don't know anything more than that, but we will shortly. It's also a little odd that it's slowing down right there before a signal. What could that possibly mean, except it's got a red signal on its side? Ha! Ah, dimming the headlight. So there must be an oncoming train that we're going to be waiting for here. So let's swing the camera around to the other direction and see if we can find it. There it is, the northbound international passenger train from Seattle to Vancouver, B.C. It was such a beautiful morning, I couldn't resist panning over for you to see the Olympic mountain range in the distance in the morning sun. Beautiful. Besides, it'll take a while for this train to get to us. I think at this point it's about a mile away, mile and a half away. And it's the middle of March, so you can see that the leaves are not on the trees quite yet, but in another couple of weeks, the scene will be quite different. Let's take a closer look at that train while we have a chance. And there she blows. See how my gloved finger is getting in the way of the picture there. It's a sign of more incompetence to come. It was about 37 degrees when I was out running this morning and 
So I had a little trouble with my gloves, my fingers, the cell phone. It didn't work out the way I was hoping. But you can see the headlight came on with the engine, so that means that we're going to start accelerating and moving southbound again. There's the bell. It must mean something. inching forward before putting on the throttle at a higher setting to pull out the drawbar slack. Fun to see that exhaust. You can tell they're trying to get the train up to speed again. And the signal turned yellow because that passenger train's going so fast. At this point, I thought it'd be fun to show you the ferry way out there at the distance going between Edmonds and Kingston across the uh, Puget Sound. But unfortunately that caused me to accidentally lose my grip on the phone and I lost the whole passing of the locomotives. Sorry about that. It was a mixed combination of four medium horsepower units, which tells me this is either a drag freight going between Everett and Seattle or maybe a southbound from Vancouver. If you know what train this was, be sure to leave a comment in the sec comment section below. We have lumber products from British Columbia, chemicals, various kinds of granulated products, oil tanks, which could be either full or empty, more lumber. It's a good guess that these big box cars contain lumber as well. One of my personal favorites is poles in a pole car. And another favorite of mine is the scrap metal going to the new core electric arc furnace in West Seattle to be turned into rebar. And we'll be modeling that on my HO scale layout in the next couple of years. So stay tuned for that. Because these are grain cars here. A little more scrap metal. And who knows what's in those green containers.
Oh, that was a long train. We have one pusher unit. At least we can get one more from one of this video. 4172. Very nice. And that brings us to the end of another railroad-oriented video on my channel, Much Fun with Trains. And for today, this is Burr Stewart, hoping that you'll enjoy the other videos on my channel as well, and wishing you much fun with trains.